For Texas Senator Ted Cruz, Indiana is being called his Alamo, his Waterloo, even his last stand. God bless the Hoosier State. According to recent polls, Cruz's support is actually sliding ahead of the primary. The latest WSJ NBC News Marist poll shows the Texas senator will have to overcome a 15-point deficit against frontrunner Donald Trump to survive. So why, with 10 contests left in the Republican race, is there so much riding on the Hoosier state? We explain why in today's WSJ campaign Q&A. Of course, there's the momentum and the morale. Cruz hasn't won a state since Wisconsin on April 5th. And there are the high stakes that Cruz himself placed on the state by prematurely naming a vice presidential candidate. It's also Cruz's true one-on-one -on -one shot at Trump, since Ohio Governor John Kasich agreed not to compete in Indiana as part of a deal to divide remaining state primaries. If we win Indiana, it's over, okay? But most importantly, there's the math. Cruz's goal is to block Donald Trump from reaching the magic number of 1,237 delegates to secure the Republican nomination outright, thereby forcing the nomination process to a contested convention. And because of the way Indiana's 57 delegates are allocated, the state's primary could strengthen Trump's path or weaken Trump's math. Here's why. In Indiana, the winner of each congressional district gets three delegates apiece. There are a total of 27. Additionally, the winner of the state automatically gets 30 delegates at large. So if Trump wins the state, which means he probably wins a few congressional districts, he'll get almost all of Indiana's delegates, let's say 51. From there, he'll only need to win about 43% of the votes in remaining states. But if Cruz wins, even just by a fraction of a percent, he'll take the lion's share of delegates and possibly hold Trump to single digits in Indiana. Let's say Trump gets nine. Then Trump would have to win more than 50% of the delegates in future contests. With the race heading to states like West Virginia and New Jersey considered friendly Trump territory, that's why Indiana might be the last real chance Cruz has to stop the Republican frontrunner. 